वेलकम टू ब्रूज अ पिक्चर टाउन नोन फॉर इट्स मिडीवल आर्किटेक्चर एंड ब्यूटिफुल कनाल्स बट टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू अ डिफरेंट साइड ऑफ ब्रूज द वेजिटेरियन फूड इट हैज टू ऑफर along with must tries such as belgian fries waffles and beer get ready for a mouth watering episode where vegetarian cuisine meets historical charm if you're new here welcome we are sakshi dj and il pixi we share our travel and vegetarian food explorations from london the uk and around the world hoping you'll find your next food or travel inspiration here Hello from the fairy tale town of Bruges in Belgium. It's located about an hour from Brussels by train and usually people come for a day trip. We however chose to stay overnight to experience the place at a little more relaxed pace. For uh, the things to do and how we spent our time here, we have created a Instagram reel and you can check it out. I'll include it in the link below. This vlog however is all about the vegetarian food we tried during our time here. and of course we'll also cover the place where we sampled some delicious belgian beer so let's get into it let's begin with a couple of breakfast options that we'd like to recommend that toast is a popular spot known for its delicious breakfast and brunch options specializing in gourmet toasts the restaurant offers a variety of creative options we tried two types of savory toasts here The first one is called the mogu which includes hummus, mixed mushrooms, chili peppers and a fried egg. The second one was the classic which included avocado salsa, asparagus topped with greens and a poached egg. Both were quite nice, but if we had to choose one, we'd go with the mogu as a first choice. We also tried the triple french toast which consisted of toast soaked in milk eggs cinnamon vanilla with matcha white chocolate berries and rose petals this was incredible and one of the best we've tasted the second breakfast spot where we had a good experience is called cafe camel it's a warm and inviting cafe that offers all day breakfast bakery items and light meals for breakfast we had their acai bowl that came with granola berries banana chia seeds and a piece of chocolate too The combination was delicious and it was so refreshing to start the day with this. We also had their kickstart omelet which came loaded with veggies and herbs along with toast. This was nice and hearty too. Lastly, our little one Pixie was happy with her baby Chino and scrambled eggs with toast and butter over here. Now, let's explore a couple of spots for must try Belgian waffles. Belgium is famous for its Brussels and Liege waffles. In case you are not familiar, Brussels waffles are light and airy, noted for their larger size and deep pockets. On the other hand, Liege waffles are denser and sweeter with a caramelized sugar coating. This next place, however, offers a third type of waffle which provides a healthier twist on traditional waffles. For gorgeous lace-shaped Bruges waffles, we visited Otto Waffle Atelier. Made from oats, all their waffles are dairy-free, gluten-free, and even the toppings are plant-based. We tried the one called Otto on the go to taste the original. Not satisfied with just one, we then opted for another option called Go Nuts, which included nuts and berries along with caramel sauce and a zest of lemon. The Otto waffles were just amazing. it was uh, i think the f- first time i've ever had such a healthy waffle it was so soft nice and tasty so they had uh, options like uh, nuts only or fruits only but you can also customize your waffle if you want ice cream whipped cream as well and uh, you can order either with uh, toppings or you can just take the just the original one without any toppings as well both are just amazing Of course, we had to try some traditional waffles too, and for this we headed to House of Waffles. This popular spot specializes in Belgian waffles, offering both sweet and savory options. We tried one of each and both were delightful. For the sweet option, we chose Chocolate Madness. Given the choice between Brussels and Liege waffles, we opted for a Brussels waffle. This was served with chocolate ice cream, chocolate sauce and whipped cream. 
the waffles were soft and light and combined with the accompaniments it was a real treat from the savory selections we opted for the italiano vero this one was topped with cherry tomatoes basil and fresh mozzarella cheese for those who prefer savory dishes like me this is a good alternative now on to some options for lunch or dinner meals Frit Bar is a famous eatery in the heart of Bruges known for delicious fries, gourmet burgers, local draft beers and more. So when you're in Belgium, of course you've got to try the Belgian fries, but if you don't know already, a lot of places cook the fries in animal fat, but there are places which can cook both in animal fat or vegetable oil. So we are here at Frit Bar and upon request they have prepared their fries as well as our burger. Our vegan burger in vegetable oil, and usually with the fries you uh, order a sauce or a topping. So there are various options here, and we've ordered the cheddar sauce. So let's dig in. Mm. Mm. Double fried fries, hot and crispy, so yummy. We also tried their vegan burger which included fresh vegetables and a patty made of beetroot. The bread was soft and the taste was quite good too. And a nice and cold local beer was amazing together with the food. One of our dinners was at a restaurant called Marfa Sushi and Nepali Kitchen. As you can guess by the name, it serves Japanese and Nepalese food. We felt like trying the Nepalese food that day and started with a plate of steamed vegetarian momos. These were quite nice, served with the mint and coriander sauce which enhanced the taste and added a super spicy kick. We also had the veg wok noodles that included a generous helping of vegetables. These were quite good in taste, nice flavors and almost no spiciness which was perfect for a little one who loves noodles. Another one of our dinners was at yet another Asian eatery called Marco Polo Noodles. They serve several Asian cuisines from Vietnamese to Japanese, Korean and Thai. We went with the vegetarian kimchi ramen which was a flavor feast and spicy too. We quite enjoyed this one except for the taste of the tofu which was a bit weird compared to anything we've tried previously. The second dish we had here was the vegetarian pad thai. This was a decent version of the same but it was sweeter than what we would have preferred. Good taste and flavors overall and worked out well for Pixie given that it was non-spicy. Saving the best for the last, let us share a great option for some local beer. We visited the 2BE bar which offers beer tasting menus. You get to select a sampling of four local beers to try and then select your favorite to order afterwards. You also get a card which gives you information about each of the beers that you sample. This was a fun experience and we enjoyed both the beers and the lively vibe at the bar. Thanks for watching the video folks. We hope you enjoyed this one and for any questions or thoughts leave them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed do consider subscribing and until next time take care and see you soon. Yes. 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 Yummy. Nay. Ah, first of all, too.